Parkia speciosa, patai, zeliang naga calls it kampi, dimasa, bartai, mizo, zanta, pate, zanta, thadu, jongla, manapuri, yongchak, tripuri, wakurik, gangte, zanta, indonesia, peat, thai, satex rtgs, sato, rongme, kam or kampai, english, bitter bean, twisted cluster bean, or stink bean is a plant of the genus Parkia in the family Fabaceae. It bears long, flat edible beans with bright green seeds the size and shape of plump almonds which have a rather peculiar smell, similar to, but stronger than that of the shiitake mushroom, characterized by some as being similar to natural gas. Botanical description The patai tree can grow to about 30 meters. It bears flowers in a light bulb-shaped mass at the end of long stalks. The flowers secrete a nectar that attracts bats and other pollinators. The fruits emerge as long, twisted, translucent pods in a cluster of seven or eight pods. When those pods are mature, within them will reside the patai beans or seeds. Use in cooking The beans of other Parkia species Parkia javanica and Parkia singularis for example are also popular as culinary ingredient in Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Laos, southern Thailand, Burma, and northeastern India especially Manipur and Mizoram, and are sold in bunches, still in the pod, or the seeds are sold in plastic bags. Pods are gathered from the wild, or from cultivated trees, they are exported in jars or cans, pickled in brine, or frozen, it is known as patai, peat in Indonesia, Malaysia and Singapore. In marketplace, depending on the country of origin Parkia species may be labeled wakarik, patai, yongchak, in mizo zanta pronounced zongta. They are best when combined with other strongly flavored foods such as garlic, chili peppers, dried shrimp or shrimp paste, as in sambal patai. When young the pods are flat because the seeds have not yet developed, and they hang like a bunch of slightly twisted ribbons, pale green, almost translucent. At this stage they may be eaten raw, fried or pickled. Young tender pods with undeveloped beans can be used whole in stir-fried dishes, the seeds are also dried and seasoned for later consumption. When dried the seeds turn black. Patai beans or seeds look like broad beans. Like mature broad beans, they may have to be peeled before cooking. Patai has earned its nickname stink bean because its strong smell is very pervasive. It lingers in the mouth and body. Like asparagus, it contains certain amino acids that give a strong smell to one's urine, an effect that can be noticed up to two days after consumption. Like other beans, their complex carbohydrates can also cause strong smelling flatulence. Indonesia. <inaudible> <inaudible> In Indonesia, patai is very popular in the highlands of Java and Sumatra, especially among Sundanese, Minangkabau and many other people in different cultures of the island. In Sundanese cuisine patai might be eaten raw with sambal as part of lalab, fried or grilled. It also can be stir-fried and mixed with ankam. In Java and Sumatra, it also might be added to sayur lode or sambal goreng ati patai fried diced beef or chicken liver in sambal and patai. Nasi goreng kambing patai is popular variant of nasi goreng fried rice with goat meat and patai. In Minangkabau cuisine it usually become part of lado minang sambal for ayam pop padang style fried chicken. Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> India In Manipur it is grown mainly on all the hilly districts and some other parts of Manipur valley. Varieties found here are somewhat harder than the counterparts of Thailand or Malaysia. The wild variety from the hills is more commonly sold in market. Some species of parkia are grown in small scale by farmers in northeast India. In mainland India, it is grown as an ornamental plant, shade tree and border tree. This bean has become an important ingredient in many food items in Tripura too. In Manipur, the seeds or the bean as a whole are eaten by preparing a local delicacy called aromba or yongchak singju salad. Aromba is a very common cuisine in Manipur made with boiled potato, fermented fish, chili and other vegetables, in this case, parkia. Yongchak singju is another favorite side dish made with parkia cut into small pieces and then mixed with red hot chili paste. 
Parkia is also used for making various other dishes with fish and vegetables. The Rongmei tribe of Manipur, Nagaland, and Assam call it kampai, which is cooked with meat or prepared as salad, and sometimes seeds are eaten with chutney made of dry fish. The Pate tribe of Churashanpur district, Manipur, call it zonta pronounced zongta and mainly prepare it with chili peppers and a special fermented pork called sathu, and called it zonta meh. In Mizoram, the Mizo people are also very fond of it, and call it zanta and they used to prepare it with chili and a fermented pork called sam which is the same as sathu of Manipur. In Manipur, Assam, Tripura, the Tripura people call it Wakarak Mosadong and Bangladesh Manipuris call it Yongchak or Wakarak in the local Manipuri dialect and consume it as a salad mixed with fermented fish or, the boiled or roasted seeds either alone or in a mash of boiled vegetables laced with fermented fish. Malaysia In Malaysia, patai also commonly served with sambal, or mixed with dried shrimp, chili peppers, red onions, belican prawn paste, soy sauce and prawn. Thailand In Thailand it is called sah ta Thai, satex as mu fat sah ta, stink bean with stir-fried pork. 